Today on Trash to Treasure Thursday, I show you how to make some really neat vases for flowers for your dollhouse. So join me and see how easy this project is. project that's been around for a long time. Um, I am making a rash assumption that the lovely people at Avon have not discontinued the, this type of lipstick sample. Um, we're going to make a vase out of the lipstick top. And when sometimes you take it off, you get a little bit of lipstick on there. That's okay. Um, so if you get Avon, or you know somebody that does, or you know somebody that sells Avon, find out if they still have these lipstick samples. I bet they do. They've had them for as long as I can remember. If you get lipstick on there, you can clean it off with your Q-tip. I haven't figured out a use for the base yet. I'm still working on that one. Clean this off. And we want to get this pretty, um, pretty clean inside because well, one of the options I'm going to show you is to give some color to these. Now, over there. And I always manage to get that chunk of lipstick on there. All right now one thing you will notice right away is that they want to rock around a bit. So grab an emery board and just take an emery board and sand off the base. Make it nice and smooth and get rid of what you've got is you've got the word Avon printed across the bottom of there. And you need to, there, now it sits flat. all there is to getting them to sit. And you could use them this way. I've seen people use them this way and they make perfectly good bases. They look really nice. They're kind of big, which means they work really well if you're making like a hotel scene or a restaurant scene or some kind of public building scene. But these will also work in your dollhouse, like in an entryway or on the dining room table. Now, yeah, we could use them plain. But they're fun to color, and I've got two, at least two different ways to do them. One is nail polish, and this is the Art Deco nail polish by LA, by the people at what's it, LA uh, Colors, because the people that make this nail polish. I get this at Dollar Tree, so it's like a dollar for a jar of this. And what I love about it, it's got this really long brush, and what you can do. You can kind of make kind of a just a design like that. And I'm going to mix some colors in there. Now you can let that dry, or you can go right in with a second color and let them kind of blend. Um, and if you get a nice drop, you can kind of make it run down. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Let it kind of run down and run down the sides. Let's, let's do one of some of this red. See if the red will drip off nicely. Yeah, it's my day to knock everything on the table down. Okay. Now this one's not going to drip either. You see me do this. And I like this because it's glittery. Really pretty. Now another thing you can do is the glass stain paints. Now these will take longer to dry, but you can shake these up. Try and get one that has a nice, nice opening. Let's make sure that this is going to, okay, this has dried. They do this. It's okay. Let's take a sewing pin, scoot down in there, and if that doesn't work, it means you've got a little bit of a plug. And these do this. That's why I like to have the kind that I can get the lid off of. If I don't use the colors very often. Let's see if this is going to work now. 
There we go. I can see it coming. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now I'm going to use that one. I'll get that one. I'll turn the camera off and get that one to work. And then I'll come back with that one. Let's do this one. And I got it on the outside. But this stuff you can just kind of wipe like that. And if you get somewhere you don't want it, grab a paper towel or a wet wipe and just wipe it off really quickly. Remember, this is water soluble. There. All right. Took a couple of cute, uh, a couple of toothpicks to get this one running. All right. So this one, you just again, it's kind of. You can put a whole rim around. And then kind of bang it so it wants to run. And once this dries, you could add nail polish to it if you wanted to. You can mix the two together. Um, things that, these look really cool, especially like in an Art Deco type setting. They look really neat. See if we can put some nail polish in there without ruining the nail polish bottle while that's still wet. Drip there. Alright, so these have now actually dried overnight. So you can see we have color on these. Um, color dries. And it looks really cool. This one actually is not dry all the way. You can see because it's still cloudy at the bottom. But that's our vases. And of course you could just leave these little covers from the lipstick plain if you wanted to. You could paint them a solid color. You could make designs. You could do all kinds of things in there. But they do make, a, I think, a really neat large flower vase for your dollhouse. And it's a super simple, super easy project. So I hope you enjoyed this Trash to Treasure Thursday. Be sure and check the blog post for more information and for a link to our Trash to Treasure challenge that I've issued to my viewers. So be sure and check that out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.